future, talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life from Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at ubnradio.com. Today, everyone is a product and everyone needs marketing to succeed. So let's talk about it right now on Marketing Unfiltered with award-winning creative expert, Wendy Cooper and her co-host, John Hamilton. <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> Whoa! We are here, live in studio, everybody. <laughs> okay, so welcome to the C Spot. This is where we talk about marketing, and we and kind of, but tonight we're really going to talk about something really fun that we did uh, this past weekend, and I yes. think it's important. Have the whole team here from a product shoot that we did. Mm-hmm. Um, oddly enough, for Easy, Easy Go, Go Pro. Pro, but. Um, it's a little sad that I have to continuously use my own product <laughs> as an example, but uh, but why not? Heck. Uh, <laughs> so uh, so anyway, I'm Wendy Cooper, and uh, my uh, co-host, as you just heard, John is Hamilton. We are called John Hamilton, <laughs> and tonight uh, we have in studio our. Did you change Cassidy's title from that email that I had sent you? I you are now called oh, a private art. Consultant. That's why that's you put my real last name on. Oh, <laughs> what was I supposed to do? What is your <laughs> fake last name? Middle name. That's Middle actually name. not oh. her real name. Oh, okay. Right Sorry. That's not my name. <laughs> that's not her name. We can't change that, can we? It's too late. It's, it's okay. already, it's it's already okay. on the it's internet. Already, it's already out there. It's already in the screen world. captured. Right. You can find Cassie what at ZachBass.com. Are you a f- <laughs> 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 uh, and then Z- and Zach Bass is here. And Zach, I think that you, are, I've, I've called you our uh, producer photographer right. uh, and everything else because you, you, Re- and filmmaker. returning guest. Didn't say, returning didn't say. Guest. What, uh, right. what, what's, what, what is Zach's title? Producer photographer. And that's, that's that still works. and moving picture photography for people. Filmmaker. That, yeah. 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 Filmmaker. Phil, mm-hmm. Filmmaker. Um, so anyway, we uh, welcome everyone to the show. Thanks for having us. Yeah, welcome, guys. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Actually, Zach, that wasn't for you. That was for Cassidy. <laughs> oh. That's, that's, that's her that makes more there. sense. <laughs> That's funny. I if was a little surprised <laughs> by that. It, it was. <laughs> so it's really kind of funny because let me let me just set it up a little bit. So uh, for anybody tuning in, here's what we're going to do in tonight's show. You really, really should go on to ubnradio.com, channel one. It's a live stream. If you're listening live and you're listening on TuneIn Radio or... Um, wherever else we're, you, we're mm-hmm. heard live on audio, m- try to open up another browser or go to some place where you can actually watch the show and see the video and if you uh, the live stream. If you can't, you can always see it on YouTube tomorrow. Um, and here's why. We're going to go through something, you know, we're going to talk tonight about how important it is to have all of your marketing assets and all of your creative and what it really takes to, on a dime, it's mm. kind of like doing your product shoot on a dime. You know, it's a DIY I I kind of thing because mm-hmm. you know I could we could have, I could have paid a lot of money to do that a lot of money I'm not going to talk about how much I did pay don't worry Zach I <laughs> won't do that <laughs> <laughs> don't blow my cover Wendy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it didn't cost probably what it would cost if you were in a, the agency world that would have been a twenty five thirty thousand dollars oh for sure especially with all the product and the, the yes. set design that you yes the location out of the park. and and all of that mm-hmm, all, true. although uh, so uh, so we did we did a product shoot for the EasyGo Pro mm-hmm. and what happened that day John I'm or or Zach, let's pass it. Don't have to go into detail, but you know, so I'm not the only one talking. Yeah, well, you you just needed more assets, and more content, right. you know, some updated things, some fun different ideas for marketing for different purposes, whether if it's seasonal, if it's just for anything. So basically, that day, uh, Zach came over as you know, he's the photographer, and he can do, you know, he can shoot a music video, but he can also do still product shoots, which is. Awesome. Awesome. And because that's you not have to be multi talented. You, you, you do. Well, Zach, I, I was saying. You're not a one trick pony. You're yeah. not a one trick pony. Yeah, you mm. want to try. Uh-huh. Oh, who? <laughs> oh, huh. Oh, huh. So. So, then, so Zach comes over, he sets up, and we have all the just, it's, you know, it's lighting like we have here in studio, these big. 
don't know what you call them, these big lamps, whatever, lighting lamps. Um, some photography lamps. Yeah, yeah we, so we, it's, we it's do all of that, but you know, to it, somebody that's never experienced that, you wouldn't necessarily ex- expect all these lightings and you know each setup. Is, everything, is how, such much a time, process. how much time? How much time? Right, it's yeah. yeah. I think it's we started at nine in the morning situation. and we yeah. finished at eight nine o'clock nine. p.m. Yeah. 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 It was pretty late. Yeah. yeah. So when we got all the and Wendy set up all the bathrooms and different colors and themes and I think we got five or six different. Yeah. So we did a so, so the idea was was that I needed more marketing assets. I needed more product right. shots because I have different colors. I hadn't and new colors. I hadn't. I hadn't. I didn't have any product shots of my colors. Right. So I have lavender, blue, Tiffany blue, pink, and clear. And, and, white. and well, and white, but the the white is always Classic. had white. So I've always had assets, marketing assets for the white one, uh, but I didn't have for any of the colored ones, and I didn't really have any lifestyle assets, mm-hmm, meaning right. the product actually in a practical use in a bathroom. Right. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, rather than exactly. just like some woman jumping up in the air with her arms up. Or, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's okay too. I'm kidding, that's Wendy, okay I'm too. Kidding. I did it. <laughs> But um, so so my goal was on a dime, let's say, you know, was to you guys. Uh, we shot at your house, right, Cassidy? Mm-hmm. Shot at your house. So that what was a great huge space expense too. break there. Yeah. Four bathrooms. Four bathrooms? Yeah. yeah. With one with a freaking corner toilet. Okay, John, Tony, will you? So what we did was we created, we took these bathrooms. Yeah, and everyone we should start them. going online and listening online and it's watching. Get very visual. Yeah, in a it's minute. super visual. So what 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 it starts with, right, Zach? Is you all you kept men- mentioning art direction, correct? And that uh, starts way before and we show up at the shoot, right? I mean, when you're doing a shoot like this, the photography is you know such a fraction, but the art direction really comes really brings out the uh, atmosphere that you're looking for and the um, creating the kind of assets that you want. You know, a photographer can light something and look, make it look nice, but you did such a great job, you know, creating these really beautiful lifestyle situations that really sell the product and allow people to see the, the product in an uh, environment that, right. um, that they can relate to. So right. when you get to work with somebody like Wendy who, like, shows up and she's, like, you know, top of her game, so professional, knows how to do it. And even if, you know, some, shooting a, a toilet stool is n- might not necessarily be the most interesting thing for a t- photographer, but when you sure. have somebody like her to work with who's so inspired by it and so into it and then sets up these beautiful rooms, does that kind of heighten your inspiration and get you into it more? Oh, absolutely. I think Wendy uh, really brought um, a lot of inspiration to the shoot. I... Um, was a little uh, didn't wasn't sure what to expect uh, coming into it. We had talked a little bit about it before, uh, and we I've seen the spaces before as well, but I wasn't sure exactly what uh, was going to happen. Yeah. And then um, Wendy brought in all these amazing props and had all these lifestyle scenarios planned out. Pillow. <laughs> and it, she made it a breeze. It was uh, actually uh, it was really great. I, I couldn't ask for a better um, person to work with. So yeah, oh, you guys work gosh. together very yeah, well. I couldn't. I, I have to say the 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 same. There's there's a, there's a, c- a couple of things that are really funny. But first, let's you know for anybody listening, and and so because we're talking about creating these assets, and if you're watching and looking on screen, we're looking at you know the pink one right now and so you'll notice that I don't think there's a label on that is there's there not John? a label on no. this one no. so what I wanted was you know my product has all these labels o- all over it when people buy it so they mostly buy on Amazon and they get and then it arrives and they have labels uh-huh. on them and I've made the labels consumer friendly so that they peel off really which easily which is so smart but a lot of people just leave the labels on which I think is really odd behavior but they do they, John like John did. I think he it's a guy the thing. I think you just, the guys guy will just thing. throw the toilet stool and just forget about it, and the girls maybe will peel the sticker off, make sure it's clean and whatnot. Well, for a consumer in marketing, so if you're if you're thinking about you have you know these are these are lifestyle. These are here's one with with a um, with a label. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, we shot so a both. trick for Wendy was to just swap the label out yes. as Easy Go Pro and then put on a new sticker that said Easy, Easy Go, Go Kids. Kids. Which, so by the way, have we have a Zulu event assets. in two days for, Zulu, for so Easy Go Kids. It's perfect. And yeah. spring's coming up, too. And these, it's all very, very springy. So yeah. And weird. we created the... Um, so, so, But the whole idea was is that you have to go shopping. and I mean, those bathrooms just didn't... You know. No, you showed up with no. 12... Giant bags full of <laughs> home you have to stuff. go buy that stuff. Exactly. Decor you know? and, and furniture, you have to basically. Figure out how are you, how am I going to make my goal was how am I going to make a lavender toilet stool look sexy and beautiful in a bathroom? Yeah. In a bathroom, I really didn't have a handle on. I mean, that's your bathroom looks nothing really like that bathroom Mm-mm, that no. you just saw. Mm-mm. That's Cassidy's bathroom. This one, Tony, mm-hmm. and this is uh, Cassidy actually staged this one. 
Yeah, yeah. It's so masculine. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? Well, that's the man it looks bat. So great. Yeah, and it's it's really interesting because I didn't have any of the clear right and the the clear or ice the name the the name of it is ice is the best seller mm -hmm. in Europe right now, and it's but we have no real assets to show it super. And it to show what it really looks like. I mean, how freaking cool and is that? You can that? make yeah, it look it high really end. Yeah, it looks really cool. You know, so now these are all up on Amazon. And today oh, I got. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, really? they're, they're, oh, yeah. I took I took some and I kind of know how to balance the white and not real professionally. Okay. But um, yeah, I had to make that switch because if you go to Amazon and you go to the purple one, the pink one, mm -hmm. the white one. I now they all have these lifestyle shots showing to go it along with, with, with it. Shots. It's genius. Very cool. Very cool. You know, so I'm way ahead of the game because if you go, that's until Amazon maybe might say mm, a little too lifestyley, like not enough product. Sure. Then I just go closer. <laughs> yeah, then you just pull it <laughs> tighter. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we did exactly. get those kind of shots. We like definitely varied yeah. the um, the angles and the the close ups to make sure you had those kind of. Um, yeah, yeah. You did available. a great job. You did all well, of. We had. I don't know. There must have been 800 shots. Uh huh. Yeah, there were. There so were so here shots. was not yet. So 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 the idea was then that was our morning, right? I mean, we were staging these mm -hmm. bathrooms mm -hmm. Even until mid afternoon. Until yeah, until about two or three. Yeah, so we started at nine and we slept in all of the stuff. And actually, we used one bathroom for three different set, two different setups. No, three different setups for the yeah. lavender, the white, mm -hmm. and the pink mm -hmm. with the yellow rug. I mean, and I bought all of that. Okay, the secret is you go to Home Goods or you go to. Target. You go to a store. You go to a store that sells <laughs> home <laughs> goods. <laughs> the secret is you can return uh, it later. Well, that's what that's kind of what you do, and it's the best store. I just have to say, go to Home Goods. It's a TJ Maxx store. You can I can say that. You yeah, go to you Home Goods, and you and you can buy like um like okay go to my go to places are Home Goods here in LA. Home Goods, Michaels. So for those little like yellow flowers. So if you're looking mm -hmm. at if you look at this video, you're looking at the purple the blue toilet stool with the yellow rug. We're covering up the hardware, right, Zach? Yeah, like, what yeah, were some of the challenges? So the challenges are, we're this, first of all, you're confined to the uh, small space. Bathrooms typically are, you know, you know, the spaces we were working in at least were a little bit, uh, the angles and stuff were a little bit hard to shoot. So we're, yeah. we're, we're dealing with that. And then we're also trying to make sure that we get the product and everything's uh, and the environment captured, but also while hiding some of the, you know, very More unsightly, the unsightly <laughs> uh, hardware of the toilet seat. So here we have uh, Wendy's decorated with some, you know, a vase and uh, some, some flowers. Some flowers, which... A little stand, and it looks really cool. And then it does, it looks really cool to sit in there, even it's though not, it, it nobody, I mean, who puts flowers next that, to their toilet, <laughs> but it looks great. It looks great. It serves the purpose of better than seeing a... Obtrusive a tube or <laughs> yeah. a pipe, yeah, you or know. some steel. But this is, and that's a corner toilet, by the way, everybody. That is a freaking corner Which toilet. You can't get over the concept <laughs> of a corner <laughs> toilet. The corner you toilet. are into the corner Let's toilet. Spread. Don't back her. Don't go <laughs> on. But you, ha you have to. Have don't you have you ever corner. seen one? Uh, I don't think I've I have. seen a toilet in a corner, but I didn't notice that it was actually triangular in shape yes. that, until you pointed it out. Cassidy, did like, you oh, notice that? I, so. I noticed it. I, I, and she I, thought I, nothing of it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she does not give a shit about toilets. <laughs> Pun intended. Pun intended. <laughs> it's, I, it's, it's remarkable. So Tony, on the top, on the top there, the top, the toilet's shaped like this, so it sits and fits back into the toilet. Yeah, into the corner, like a triangle. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's really Genius. awesome. It's very <laughs> novel. <laughs> I'm going to ask yeah, Home Depot go. if they have one because Home Depot claims they have 900,000 toilets or something like that. Their variety is so vast or whatever. Yeah, but do you have a corner toilet? I mean, they should. I can't think of what other other shape you would do besides <laughs> flattened corners. So um, so other than those challenges, so we, mm. the, the, the morning was pretty, you know, the, the importance okay, well, of in, these product shots. This is yes. it. What is the importance of having these type of like uh, Cassidy, you said that looks like it's in a catalog, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and we were looking at yeah. them. Yeah, like a Sears catalog, like spring product arrival, and it's like this beautiful shot that, to me, looks very. Special. But how difficult do you think that that is? I mean, I know how difficult it is. I didn't just learn. I did. You, you can't. It's like there's a sense, right? I have a. I you, think I yeah. have an innate sense, and I had to. I actually had to learn. Uh, composition. A a sure. Yeah, you just can't. You, you have to like make sure your your composition and your, all of your your lines are kind of matching mm -hmm. up, and that your like angles aren't too low or too high, and that you're getting everything in frame, and and that 
you're really selling the product, but also capturing the environment that it's yeah. living within and uh, inviting people into the space so that they can also think about their bathroom. Can, their bathroom. Their well. bathroom. Yeah, yeah, and th these images do, I think, conjure those uh, feelings of inspiration. Yeah, like I'll I love them. this one. Yeah. This one looks like a little bathhouse. I wanted uh, to I mean, just like leave little, our bathroom uh, like, like that. Cabana <laughs> bathroom. Yeah, like you know, little, like pool, little bathroom. pool bathroom. Totally. Something. It shows <laughs> that a toilet stool, and it's it's interesting because I can't get after uh, when. Okay, so. I want to I want to stay I want to stay in one place and then go to another place and then go to another place so that we can talk about the feet because that whole concept with the feet is 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 completely different than this concept with sure. showing it in a lifestyle yes. way yes. right so let's go to can you go to like the lavender photo there's there's the pink the lavender the white it doesn't matter oh no not of the feet the not of the, the feet we're still in the bathrooms yeah cuz the biggest here's my yeah um, that one, and then there's a pink one also. So this was the same bathroom. This is the lavender, and we actually have a big giant hamper there that's that purple, white, and purple. So I'm at Home Goods, and I'm looking for things that can go with my lavender toilet stool, right? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's amazing compliment. what the, but it's a particular lavender color. Sure, it is. Right? It is. Yeah, yeah it is. Because if you s notice the other traditional it's lavenders in the photos, yeah. It, it comes out a little differently. Yeah, mm. but so but they couldn't clash either, right? You like you couldn't have a deep purple or anything. Right. So anyway, right. I go and I find um, that hamper, which is upside down, by the way. Cassidy's idea was to turn it upside down. We needed something to cover the hardware. Uh, yeah, just a little <laughs> ingenious <laughs> art direction. <laughs> you know. And then um, we have there's something in this photo that would kill you, Zach. What? If if I pointed it out. Oh no. And it's in every photo that the baskets in the background are in. What's that? We didn't take the tags off. I didn't. I didn't take the tags off the baskets, and they're hanging from. The <laughs> so the baskets are back there. They have the <laughs> handles like this. <laughs> And from oh, each handle, no. our tags. See, that's where you Hanging. know. Yeah. That's where well, the that's, that's where, where, where you live and you learn. No, no, that that's, that's where, where Photoshop is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, and you can't really see them, but I see them. Yeah, for sure. But also, that's where the monitor. Like, if we had fed it to the computer, sure. we would have mm -hmm. seen that. You that's can't true. see it in the camera. No, no. And, and that's one of the the, the learning curves of these kind of situations is um, you have to kind of. Figure that kind of stuff out. Yeah, I mean, keeping, we, keeping we a strong eye on that stuff. We did very, very good for not having a, uh, an actual monitor because there's a few things like, like the depth of things, right? We could have, if we had the monitor. Mm, that's true. Remember, we just all, everybody listening, we just all kind of the Fab Four here got together and said, let's do a photo shoot. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's what we, we will be able to use these assets now for the Zulily events, the Groupon events, all of the events. They can totally. go everywhere. They can be used again and again and again and again and again. Put them on right. Instagram. Yeah. You can tweet them out. You exactly. Can use them as any kind of like promotional you know. material. And and it's it's showing the product without the labels on on uh, Amazon and, and ever other places. Like see it without the labels. Right. They actually do <laughs> yeah. come off, and you don't have to have a branded bathroom exactly. with a, a logo that you might not with want. a direction sticker on it. I mean, really, <laughs> take those things off, people. So that's kind of my favorite one. I love that pink one. <clears throat> um, but anyway, okay. So these are all really important in in creating the effects. Like if somebody has a product and you're able to put it into a, a lifestyle kind of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, scenario. scenario in order to make people feel because sometimes you have to click it for people, right? You have to. Absolutely. That's yeah, what advertising really is really. all about. You have to really show them what as possible. Yeah, for the you, potential. The mm -hmm. yeah. And and is this stool gonna like? What do I? So I just put the stool in my bathroom, and then what? It sits there. No, it can actually be integrated and look good as well. And that's the whole and point. And it doesn't that you're scream to get across people that poop. Can't. And it, you're, yeah, it doesn't no. scream. Uh, I take a shit on me. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> oh, no, sorry. it doesn't at all. And you're also <laughs> creating images that are shareable. You're you're not. You know, if it's just like the the stool, then on the white background, that's maybe not as shareable as a lifestyle photo. Right, where it's it, you've created a bathroom unrelatable. that's like, oh, this is a beautiful space. Check this out. I love what they did in, in that space and yeah. uh, with the product, and I could do that as well. I think they, mm -hmm. there's so many, um, and it's remarkable how we made one bathroom look so many different ways. Mm -hmm. That's the art know? direction. It really is about the art direction. You you. Um, 
you can create a whole different world in a, in a space that you don't even realize. And it's so much fun. I wish I had gone to school for it. I really do. I really wish that I was a... I have won three tellies for art direction. Oh, really? That's yeah. I never, cool. I mean, I graduated high school, people. <laughs> 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 I took 10th grade math. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you know, I, I've we never have a lot in had an algebra <laughs> class <laughs> ever. But I know when I'm doing algebra. Because oh. I do know when I'm doing it. I just oh, don't you know how I know how to do it. You know when you're doing that. I just know I'm doing it. And and it happens I sometimes. didn't take a class to find out why I was doing there it. There should be more classes on <laughs> what we did, you know, over... You on know, those staging <laughs> your bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah, just exactly. Like, uh, how do you do that? You know what? There's this... Um, we could make some money with this. Listen to this, guys. Have you ever gone to Udemy? It's udemy.com and it's no. where you create your courses and they're video, they're video, mm. they can be video courses. Okay. And Udemy does this. a lot of, um, uh, Seth Godin, you know who Seth Godin is? Sounds Seth? familiar. Okay. So he's a big guy in marketing and advertising. Seth Godin with the little round, dark glasses, bald head. Seth Godin does a lot of TED Talks. Oh, maybe that's he's why. He's really like is. Seth Godin. He's okay. like the dude. Okay. Okay. So, um, he says that everybody should have a course on Udemy. He actually has, hmm. uh, it. Uh, not on Udemy. He has it on Udemy and something else. But anyway, Udemy, if we did, you can do courses and then you make money. Oh. Right? You do these courses. You post them. I'm going to put that in my notes right now. You post them. And then they're there. Right? Uh -huh. And you can charge whatever. And, you know, there's there there's you can learn anything on Udemy. U-D-E-M-Y. Udemy.com. And you become like a Udemy teacher. But you can do videos like you said. Mm -hmm. That should be a class. How do you take this bathroom and turn it into this? How do you go shopping? How sure. do you go shopping and get the ideas? And right. you know, I didn't have anything but a pink, a blue, a lavender, and a clear toilet stool. That's I've actually taken had. one of those uh, on a different website it's called Creative Live. They do a similar yeah. like creative um, like webinar arts type and deals. sort of webinars. You can do them live. Um, yeah. I used one to kind of brush up on my uh, documentary filmmaking skills. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. But a lot of people do do them, post them on Udemy. You know, first you 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 invest your time, and then you do your course, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's there, mm -hmm. and you maybe can interact. But they do a lot of marketing for you and things like that. Udemy oh wow! Does. That's so you can you can make a nice amount of money from having your course. So just as long as you are presenting, something and do you that set your own want. price? You Something can say like I that. can do it for ten cents, or I can do it for ten bucks. No, 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 no. It's always more than that. It's their quality. They have rules and uh -huh. they have all okay. sorts of things, right? They have groups control. and yeah, of course. But you know, but there's a lot of places that you can actually do that for to make money. Oh wow! For making a lot of money. Mm. Actually, are you going to put one on? I. Uh, actually, you should. I've been wanting yeah, you to. You probably should. Uh huh. But I don't know that I want to do the video part of it. Well, you well, have the you images have though to so say this is what I'm talking about, and here I could was do that the results. If I had, I would have to come and. Oh, I do have a couple of before and before pictures because I took the before pictures yeah. That's of right. the bathrooms. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There oh my go. god, when they're on my phone. Yeah. yeah. I, I could do that. I made you take those pictures. You know, and and I can't teach a course. I can. Yes. I was super glad when I was shopping. Oh, um, for sure. I can't really teach a course on on why you do it the mm -hmm. way you do it, but just how I do it. It's also like instinct and style, mm -hmm. and there is that. But there's also things don't dominate the product with you know accessories. Yeah, don't put like a coffee yeah. cup between your feet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Did that not look good? <laughs> that was like, oh boy, that didn't. That actually didn't work. The one thing that there's a few things. The the lavender the Chinese shoes with the uh -huh. we'll show them but we didn't we got you got video with the label but we didn't get stills with the label. Uh, well, we can oh. pull we can pull a still. That's okay. We can pull a still. I actually vetoed a still. that picture. Tony will not be showing that one tonight. Oh God, that was so awesome. Yes, but I no, no, just from your knees down. <laughs> we'll show uh, okay. it. Okay, we're not going to show that one. Uh, but I can. Demon, can I use diaper. that for Men's Health? Fuck magazine <laughs> seriously i do i want to i no, want to post that on I twitter w and hashtag men's health no Wendy, oh come that, on no, esquire i get it because it's funny <laughs> I'm like, ah. oh come on <laughs> your face is not in it you you'll become a my, viral my sensation the girl on the <laughs> toilet stool oh my god it's so in. awesome i because know it, you, it I really think is you probably saw it it's, yeah, the, with yeah. The, is yeah. that the jungle really yeah with the top with the, the top little top oh, always, i don't yeah, think zach has seen it i don't think so yeah it, it's a wide today. shot my father saw it 
Yeah, it was <laughs> awesome. Oh, I don't want to see that. Oh, that's you. That I don't want to see. Uh, so here's here's <laughs> another thing that pooping. this is something else that made me as I was going through all the photos and things like that. Um, and before we go to the feet, so we'll go to the feet after this. Actually, we're going to go to a, a break in, a, in about a minute, and then we'll come back and we'll do the feet. Um, but the thing is, is well, I came up with the idea. Okay, so everyone knows squatty potty is like my. Nemesis. My my competition. Yeah, yeah, my competition. And Squatty Potty has their slim and nah, 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 nah. and Squatty Potty has a lot of money and God bless them for all that money they have. I'm just saying that again. Okay. And but <laughs> they they and may God bless us with that. And God they did the rainbow pooping <laughs> unicorn, unicorn and all of that. Unicorn. And they sh- and they went outside of their kind of like you have to elevate your feet to you know we want to save the world kind of thing by right. doing their poop and unicorn thing. But mm-hmm. they still are trying to save everybody's anus. Sphincters. <laughs> exactly. So anyway. <laughs> what a noble the cause. Mor- the family, <laughs> you know, the Mormon family Mon from boy. wherever, that's what they're trying to do. Okay, now listen. S- but, but I decided, and maybe I'll reveal it when we get back, oh, why, what this photo shoot did for me and what my secret approach is going to be to crush the competition, competition. <laughs> okay, a cliffhanger. so okay. we will we'll be back after these Come messages back very dramatic cliffhanger too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> are you sick of being stressed overwhelmed and unmotivated do you feel life is running you instead of you running your life if so then listen up there's a breakthrough program built on over 100 years of therapies commonly used with america's returning veterans to help them successfully overcome ptsd pain and depression according to the huffington post in 2012 when music therapy was added to the rehabilitation program at Walter Reed's Medical Center for Wounded Veterans, medical professionals noticed patients' positive emotional response to music. Music has been shown to improve the quality of life. If you're looking for alternative healing for anxiety, depression, and pain, why not experience the therapeutic ability of whole tones? Whole tones makes use of specially designed frequencies inspired by King David, interweaved through soothing songs that stimulate your body's natural healing process. If it works for battle-scarred vets, can it work for you? Experience it for yourself for free at freewholetones.com. That's freewholetones.com. That's free, W-H-O-L-E, tones.com. If you need direct response television media planning and buying, then Direct Avenue is your best bet. Besides being a media specialty, direct response television advertising is the smartest form of advertising today. Direct Avenue is a short form media agency where direct response meets branded television advertising. It takes master planning, negotiating, buying, tracking, and reporting to run an effective advertising campaign in order to have sustainable growth. I've been nothing but impressed with everyone at Direct Avenue. As a CMO consultant, I need to feel connected to the entire supply chain of a campaign, and I trust that Direct Avenue is doing the best job possible. Direct Avenue understands the urgency in planning, negotiating rates, flexibility, and agility in leveraging relationships that allow for a smart and efficient media test. The leadership at Direct Avenue know their sweet spot, and they stick to it. These days, media planning and buying supported with the best systems to track transactions from phone, mobile, web, social, and search back to your media dollars is what it's all about if you want to grow your campaign and deliver a robust ROI. Direct Avenue has been around for a long time and delivering great services for many years. In fact, here's the number of Scott Kowalczyk, the CEO. 760-579-4210. That is his direct number. Again, it's 760-579-4210. Or you can go to directavenue.com, check them out, and get a free analysis for your campaign. When was the last time a CEO gave out his direct number on radio? Well, that just goes to show you what Scott's all about. So call Scott at 760-579-4210. lifetime, 
100,000 minutes are spent on the toilet. So what's the problem? When you sit on a toilet, you're at a 90 degree angle. Nature didn't want us to do it that way. This causes pushing, straining, hemorrhoids. That's crazy. We want to create a product that is great for humanity. Well, go time just got easier. Introducing Easy Go Pro, the only way to go. Anatomically, we were designed to eliminate at a 35 degree angle. You just sit, lift, and go in a natural position. The benefits list is this long from a pure health perspective. A healthy colon is encouraged by doctors for all ages. The key to vitality is the key to longevity. It's the key to your health. Be a healthy goer. Order now at easygopro.com. Try it for 70 days. If you don't absolutely feel better, just send it back for a full product refund. Go time just got healthier at easygopro.com. <laughs> I thought you threw something at me. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back. This is C-Spot Talk Marketing Unfiltered with Wendy and C-Spot. John Hamilton. Yeah. And uh, Cassidy Harper. I thought her last name was Weiss for some reason, but it's not. It's Harper. And I screwed that up. So I apologize. <laughs> and uh, Zach Bass. Um, and Cassidy is, norm- is our is our segment producer, just so everybody knows that oh, too. Yeah, that but is. because <laughs> she was, we were all involved on Saturday for the product shoot. We wanted her to be on camera and talking with us about it. We forced. We for actually the forced. Collaborative her. effort. Yeah, we forced. Uh-huh. I'm getting comfortable. I'm sorry. My Last hair. The, you know, okay, I got to talk about my hair one uh, time. I freaking knew you are going to bring up the damn hair again. <laughs> I can't even. I don't even know how to. Put, look. It's fine. I, everybody, I'm taking biotin. My hair is growing like crazy. I mean, so what if you look like a little rascal? Like is that, that what I need? Biotin? <laughs> <laughs> yes, take Putting biotin. that in my notes as well. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, that's or, a whole or show. Or Propecia topic. or whatever. That other <laughs> thing that you can take. That yeah. Not pro- do you that's that other thing? Yeah, that's for like male inter- pattern baldness. Yeah. Oh. Mm. As I look Thickens at you. your hair. <laughs> that's for male pattern baldness. <laughs> uh, this is just a choice. Wendy, Wait, everyone. tell us about Direct <laughs> Avenue, please. Oh, oh, that's right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So everybody, so Direct Avenue, I believe that there's $300 off. You get $300 worth of um, free media right now. If you call, sign up, do whatever. Uh, c- talk to Scott at uh, Direct Avenue. They're, they are the awesome short form media buying agency. I love them. Go to their website, directavenue.com, because it rocks. And I am going to change my website to look just like uh, their website, which will be <laughs> cspotrun.com. Um, and then Whole Tones, actually, Little Puppy, Jake. From State oh, Farm. From State Farm. <laughs> yeah, so we had a little puppy that we, I, not a puppy, He's but a dog. He's BTS. not a puppy. Oh, Jake from State Farm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jake from State Farm. He was, I, he, I put on whole tones the next day, and he just laid around to that whole tones all all day as this little Pomeranian guy, you know, we and he was like with his legs up in the air and his little penis <laughs> out, you know, he's just oh. laying there. <laughs> and he was just like in heaven with that. It was amazing. So anyway, it works for dogs too. Yeah, That's you said it in say. the car. Opens you them up. Him around, he was just passed out. Yeah, in the, car the, in next the to you. exactly. Yeah. So, and I love it. I just have it I on all it the too. time when I'm working. <laughs> so uh, that's freeholtones.com, yeah. and you do get a special something or other if you if you go there through basically UBN or me or Tony Show or anybody's show. So um, we're back, and I left with a cliffhanger, didn't I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what was that cliffhanger, a guys? Three letter word. <laughs> something changed your life on Saturday, and I want to know what it is. It something Sex. made me realize that oh, crushing the competition. There's one thing that Squatty Potty can never be. Is sexy. sexy. It can never be sexy. Now, Tony, do me a favor. Hit that board. We're going <laughs> to show you. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna, uh, let's go to uh, now uh, our foot model, which was your uh, original title, which I took <laughs> off. Oh, God, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Foot model. <laughs> I thought, why not say who you really are? Uh, I mean, not by name, but by profession, because you are a very wonderful private art consultant. You were our go- Oh, yeah, there you go. Now, that's schoolgirl, little nasty. Little nasty. Isn't that good? That's cute. <laughs> it's a little nasty. Little nasty little schoolgirl. But yeah. I'm just looking at it. It's black and white converses on the ice model Easy Go Pro. It's just feet from the from the knees mm-hmm. down. She's Bright able to text backdrop. because she's not thinking about other things <laughs> like 
Yeah, like, that's the millennial. Like pushing no, she's out. like smoking a joint. She's, she's, smoking, yeah. she's smoking a joint. <laughs> Texting and smoking. She's everything. picking her, you know, her nails. You can't see what she's doing above with her she, hands. She's putting some graffiti on the wall. She actually has a noose around her neck, but that's cool. <laughs> but anyway, you, you, you see how even the simplest thing wow. with it's just schoolgirl kind of converses kind of look a little okay. So that's a, that gets a little that's a little sexy. But yeah, this I love one, that. this one. Oh, I'm oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Now Zach, look at this one. John, is this the one with the toilet? You can see because this was a thing when we were shooting. No, the bride one is still without the toilet. Yeah. This no, the bride one. You can see the toilet on two of them. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm saying this one's still uh, without sans toilet. Oh okay. So she's sitting on a toilet. For people are listening, I'm sorry. You have to you have to go. This is a visual show. Um, and she has her feet. Cassidy has her feet. She's in a wedding dress and it's pulled up over her knees. And she has her feet. These are shoes I, I bought the wedding dress at Goodwill for four ninety five, <laughs> and I bought the shoes Kate Moss wedding shoes. Jesus criminy! Look at those shoes. They're gorgeous shoes. I bought those for six ninety nine at Goodwill. Okay, and they were your size. They were perfect. Yep. And look at how sexy that looks. She has her feet up on with her legs kind of spread apart. Okay. On the, on the pink one, which I'm going to have right a heyday. In she's June, I am having a heyday with this uh, one. Yeah. Oh, you for know, sure. with the bridal, the bridal one, right? Oh, yeah. So the, the, showers are the following. Like so everybody listening, out. these are photos that we took on Saturday to show the different characters, right? So Types now we're showing people, the different right. colors, but we're also showing different characters, yeah. walks of life. Different personalities. Right. That we then create all of these fun advertising, uh, social advertising campaign things for, because you can reuse them time and time again. Let's see the next one. This is this was our Miami. With this is who was the lady? Something about Mary. Was something about Mary, the lady uh -huh. with the orange lipstick. <laughs> the orange skin. <laughs> <laughs> that's who. That's who this reminds me of. This is it's also so kind funny. of like cool '80s hair rocker chick. Which is fun too. Yeah, I get the whole Miami vibe because it's a it's a blue or a Tiffany blue Easy Go Pro, right? Mm -hmm. Like and Miami blue, yeah. you know, yeah, like a Miami <laughs> yeah. blue. Yeah. And Cassidy has her gold ankle boots on, but yeah. totally pointed, metallic gold, metallic rock gold. and roll. Yeah, ankle boots on, and then with some really vibrant blue stretch pants. <laughs> 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 it's just, it looks awesome. That's I was gonna wear that tonight, but I. Think thought i would just come a little bit more casual Zach, yeah. these, these really look awesome oh thank you they really do they really do yeah. this next one is a little bit boring <laughs> this one but didn't work for me <laughs> yeah that doesn't really work for me i'm not really sure what's going on there that was the wedding that's night right yeah. wait that was the what, wedding night. Orange? you were talking about where, uh, that's wedding night i kind of thought that was just like lady in her nightgown in the yeah middle of the night it was it was the, but the lavender is difficult against the white you I know what like I mean? yeah leopard boots though yeah look at those this is this is awesome. This is a great one, and that's on clear. So what we're looking at, I got those at Goodwill, and Cassidy ended up keeping them. They were, those were nine ninety nine, and yeah, they're like, they're I'll ankle boots. These. They're leopard ankle boots, but super platformy. Mm -hmm. So this represents what what so so people listening is uh, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to represent different demographics, appeal to different demographics, lifestyles, lifestyles, of hobbies, people, interests, and, and do that through the through the, through the foot. The mm. foot styling. Through the costuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Through the costuming. That's right? like Coachella people, I think. Uh huh. Yeah. Totally. Oh, that's Coachella people? Totally. Yeah. yeah they oh, don't leave good. yours yeah. at home. Yeah. Hashtag Co Coachella. Especially you know, after a weekend happens. in Coachella, yeah. you're, you're definitely going to want to go home and save your, your tush. Porta potties <laughs> at Coachella. <laughs> yeah. And then the next one over here. And we got those uh, leg warmers. It's really happening. cute. Yeah. I think that's really cute. Really cute. And again, this is showing, this is on the lavender with these kind of uh, ballet slipper type heels with leg warmers. So this is showing the lifestyle, the, the, you know, the type of girl that would use. Like this. a dancer. A dancer, just yeah. Like a dancer. And she's so just appealing to like so a dancer. So that's dainty, and this one's workout. Pretty and dainty, yeah, and dainty and feminine. And you can see, so what were some of the challenges, um, Zach, shooting these? You know, we're shooting a white toilet on a white backdrop. Yeah, with a so white Wendy floor. brought the toilet with her I did. to the shoot, <laughs> and we took it up from the car. We did. Which I was like, oh, I guess you can do that. Sure, why not? I think the the biggest challenge for this was getting the lighting right and making sure like everything looked uh, nice and even and without too many shadows and making sure that the uh, the backdrop was smooth and we kept it clean and it was a, a real process because 
getting on and off the toilet was uh, we had to be very careful. We didn't want to get the floor. Dirty. Well, and the toilet wasn't assembled, and the so you couldn't assembled. lean back. <laughs> so <laughs> every time you'd switch your shoe <laughs> or switch the stool, you'd have to like hold yourself We're, up. Yeah, you know, we have to because you couldn't step on the white somebody backdrop off and like shove them back on. And yeah, it was gonna... a core workout. That was like our workout <laughs> moment. There was a moment where I had everybody like sort of lift their feet. And sort of put yeah, them back down. Yeah, he was trying to do these <laughs> videos. He's like, like, "Okay, now lift your foot and put it back down." And it was like, "Oh, we can't." They were like we doing like ab like exercises on a toilet that's not secure to the I ground. I couldn't do it. It was, and I thought it was me because the first time I think you had me do it the first time. I thought upstairs, you did do it really well. I think. You did no, do it really well. But it was it was in your stupid PJs. <laughs> oh no, that was You're that time. But you had me do it upstairs or something when we were up so. in the in the other bathroom. I remember it being so difficult to lift my legs Oh, that's up. right. That's right. I couldn't. Yeah, I was right. like, oh, God, I, in my head, I'm going, Jesus, I am so old. No. I yeah. can't even lift my feet up because I, I couldn't put my hands on anything. Right? So right. you didn't have your hands to. Well, and you can't lean yeah, back, back on the There wasn't railings or anything. So, I mean, that is the magic of photography is you're like creating these things and that look really secure. And, like, and it really may look stable. glamorous and pretty and easy, but it's not. We're, we you're were, sweating. Oh, sweating. You're <laughs> gross. We you're, were sweating. It was. Warm. And you have to imagine because it was because we weren't we were we we weren't we were just shooting our feet right. like like we knew from the knee it would only be the knees down right. and stuff like that so then we we did have a little bit of fun and uh, I guess this guy's Marvin these are Marvins yeah I, I, this I one's really cute too I got these are the goodwill <laughs> really is Marvin the Martians Martian the Marvin 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 the Martian the Mar no Martian the Marvins. Martian mm. the Marvins. I think it's really Marvin the Martian. It's yeah. Marvin, and mm. then the but the that's not important. the pants, <laughs> the the jammy pants. I got at Goodwill also. It was like it was just a match made in heaven. Did you keep those too, Cass? No. It's cozy. Oh, you didn't want to wear those. Nope. I, 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 I returned them. <laughs> these are these. I just redonated everything back to Goodwill. Is what I did. I just dropped it back off at of Goodwill. Uh, what oh. I got from Goodwill. Oh, but you just redonated. You know you can return to Goodwill. I know, but I'm I th I'm, <laughs> I'm not. You're like I'd like it's my hundred dollar donation. I'm just telling you the third world. I'll write it off. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can. I thought that was weird because the girl. Yeah, isn't that weird? You get a week. Yeah, she gave just me. So all your <laughs> <laughs> listeners know. <laughs> Goodwill, you get a week. <laughs> you get a week. To Goodwill return. ambassador over here. But when you do <laughs> when you do things on a dime, <laughs> right? Yeah. The Goodwill right. is the best place to go. If you want to do character things, you go to Goodwill because that's where you find, find your the character wardrobes, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you find the, like, um, the next one is John's boots. Those are your boots. Yeah, this was kind of like the rugged Indiana Jones man. Exactly. Yeah. Dirty, I, I think it's more work. of a hipster that? kind of thing, isn't it? Because the rolled yeah. up pants is yeah, sure. too. Oh, I love yeah. that one. Look at those, yeah. all those yeah. col that color like, story. Wait, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. That's the one coming up. But this one for me, uh, for Easy Go Pro, I've had a, a, quite a few people say, well, my whole foot doesn't fit on it. Now I'm my big foot. I'm too fat. Right. Yeah. Those are people trying to use it like a squatty potty, which squatty potty, by the way, is a platform that you squat on you put you plant take both your feet on the that's why it's so big and it's so well, see, I, I, i'm not really that familiar with the squatty potty oh, I've, really? I've just been it's a easy very big so my yeah, it's, ago, really so big. it's huge right and it's built so that you can plant both feet on it and then get into the squat position mm. damn it and <laughs> let it loose right <laughs> damn it <laughs> save it <laughs> so who wants that around their toilet that's why i'm saying you can't be sexy squatty potty could never compete with me it's in the clunky. sexy category that's true i think those guys let's get back to the well, sex. i have a size 13 foot and it fits fine on the easy go that's right and look so. at that isn't i think that's kind of sexy to some women those are kind of sexy yeah. boots well, yeah oh yeah i no, actually like owned them originally and then john bought them a few years after I did, but yeah, she's gonna just ch chime in with fun tidbits like that. <laughs> but let's go to the next one because the next one's really cute and bright. And I love this. One. A really point to bring up story. about this one is that okay, just because both of her feet her feet aren't planted, right? And yeah, she may not be using it. That you don't really necessarily need that to not demonstrate for advertising your product, right? Right. right? Yeah, yeah. It's just kind of like to show, you know. What's going on? The cuteness of it. Calvin Klein jeans don't show jeans half the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> it's just a bunch of black it's and white bodies. It's just a lot of bodies. Yeah. So it's like selling more than just the product. Well, it's, yeah. it's, what do they call that in advertising? They call it... They, indirect. The, indirect. The, the message is indirect, yeah. right? So it's implicit. The message is basically implicit. Mm -hmm. So when you see somebody sitting on a toilet and they got their feet on a toilet stool, this, this one is really beautiful. If anybody is not can't watch, it's the... Tiffany blue, so it's a really. Does it have a label on it? That it one, doesn't, I can't see no, that one. So it's really pretty. So it's just all white and the blue, and then Cassidy has on. All you see are Cassidy's. I like. You know what I like about this one? You see that she's sitting on the toilet. 
Yeah, like she's See? almost like it's like so comfortable and easy. To, she's like hanging out, I'm checking not gonna, her emails. I'm not or gonna. Something that's right. Toilet. I'm not gonna take mm-hmm. that part out. I would not crop that yeah, out of no. this shot. Like I did the next shot with the same shoes, but a white Easy GoPro. They're, right. They're, this oh, is like dress up over the head, and she's going. Well, for this real. is the same. <laughs> Well, this is the same outfit, only mm-hmm. this is like she's actually... Yeah, you don't see the um, the uh, gold. Right. You don't see the gold. Mm-hmm. But, and she's in a position where, you know... But this is a great one that we're looking at right now, which is orange shoes, orange high, uh, high heels, yeah. right? Beautiful high heels that yeah, I bought at really Target, nice. by the way, that, yes, I'm going to take back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you want them? Yeah, sure. I haven't taken them back yet. They're in my car. Okay, they're beautiful. They're Masomi's or Masoni or Massimo. 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 Yeah. Massimo. Is that what it is? Uh-huh. No, it's yeah. m- it is. If yeah. It's a Massimo. Yeah. Yeah. Massimo. It's not Masoni. Okay. Well, they're really beautiful <laughs> shoes. Look at that. I should send that to Target and say, "Why the frick do you not put me in your store?" That is a really good idea. It is. I am going to tweet that, and I'm going to put not ha- at Target. Yeah, and then do at and Massimo t- and then, too, and Target will see it. <laughs> or yeah. hopefully Target, somebody at tar- like Target will see Target, that tweet. I feel like these days, it is. that it's brand, yeah. Yeah. not at Target, but the shoes are. <laughs> <laughs> you right. can't get the Easy Go Pro Target, my product, but you, you can get, get the shoes yeah. there. You know, uh, so that's that's this really this one's interesting. That's gonna come up next. It kind of looks like a little girl. Her feet look small. It looks like <laughs> well, a child. Thank yeah, you. because it's pink. This is the and pink yeah, one. Yeah, it's not heels. Get a little bit of that and dress. No, I don't think it looks like a child cast. Don't you think that looks like What's a... What's wrong with that? I think it looks like a springtime look. Young, teenage, maybe. Sure, or sure. Young, young teenage. Yeah. yeah, not like a toddler, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's dainty and feminine and cute. Mm-hmm. That's why I really want to do this same kind of shoot with the Easy Go Kids, with the kids' feet. Yeah, And do cute. all different kids' feet. Yeah, you feet. should for sure. It'd be you fun. know, so that's something else that we... I mean, like now we know what it takes. Kittens, yeah, but add a bunch of kids to it well you just have them come one at a time yeah maybe you know with their mom and you cast it and just stock up on pixie and you pay them you know a hundred bucks <laughs> <laughs> seriously stock pay them a hundred bucks yeah i guess people will do anything college funds they'll do anything yeah, yeah. You gotta <laughs> give them a little, like, i've never uh, paid any of my talent more than a hundred bucks yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's sick next the one secrets this one's cute yeah this one's fun rocker yeah this is um pink really beat up doc martin pink Grungy vibe. Yeah, so that that appeals to I don't know you guys. Who's that appeal to? I don't hipsters. Know. I own them, so me. Yeah. So who are <laughs> you? Yeah, yeah hipsters so you and right. fashion people. So that's now we take those and we and <laughs> we target our next <laughs> one appeals to this one is no, that's that's no we're gonna show it <laughs> okay coming up <laughs> this is that don't was, drive drunk that was a little <laughs> that was like last shot um, <laughs> yeah this was the last last I shot. love this that's a BTS I love this it's like this is a WTF a big giant kind of a little transparent translucent or whatever you call it across she's had a, yeah, she's had a rough it's like, night what the fuck <laughs> don't Elevate. drink and dump <laughs> <laughs> don't drink and dump because you'll end up passed or out or do Elevate. I mean that's kind look, of look she would be on the floor if that wasn't there that's, that's right. a good point it's a floor. lifesaver it's a, it's a safety pr- <laughs> Cool. It's uh, it's hilarious. That's why you guys have to. Anybody listening, you actually have to see this. We're talking about I'm a product. Embarrassed right now. <laughs> a product shoot that we did this weekend for all of the new marketing assets for oh, the 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 product called the Easy Go Pro Toilet Stool. And uh, they're hilarious. They're really fun. And it's my company and uh, my product, so I get to have a lot of fun with all of these these great uh, assets that were mm. created by this team. Um, the next one, John, is your feet. Mm-hmm. I like this. I use this one the today. Oh, nice. Yeah, I kind of brightened it up. up. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, I brightened it up. A lot of them, I hadn't done that to it yet because I just haven't had time. Right. For sure. Yeah, it's been 36 hours <laughs> since we did this. <laughs> but I got all excited, you know, and then I learned how to brighten it up. In, in, um, did you use Canva? No, you don't. I can brighten it in Canva also, but from the camera file. Mm-hmm. It opens in Photoshop. That's right. And then you can do some adjustments yeah, there and then l- o- open the image in Photoshop. It doesn't open Photoshop. It opens in like a pre-Photoshop mm-hmm. thing. Sure, sure, sure. And then you can do some adjustments there yeah. and then open the image in Photoshop and then save it to the and save it ha- and do whatever you need. I don't know Photoshop at all, mm-hmm. but I found a way to lighten it up, give it a little more contrast, do, uh, mm-hmm. do certain things Just to it. Because you shot pretty flat. To make it a shot pop, a little pop. Fl- flat, which is good. And right, we always shot video, video you, flat you, also. Yeah, you shoot it flatter so you can um, bring Adjust the color. Out. But I just don't know how to do that. Mm-hmm. So I <laughs> faked it. 
Okay. Well, well, it looks it like off. you did a really you good job. It off. Yeah. So what I would do is I would take professionally, like if you know, give maybe you yeah. some of them and say, okay, yeah. here's the ones that I really like. For an extra. Now fee. that I totally screwed up what they're <laughs> called because I renamed them, but um, <laughs> but the raw fi- the raw raw files are still there. So there you go. Here's a here's a, here's a sexy one. Sexy. Wow. That's really sexy. Is that with the hand the in the middle? The second one is sexier, I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this this one. This sexier. one. So this is the wedding dress. We're showing the wedding dress again, and 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 Cassidy has her feet up on a clear one. I think I like the next. This one next one's my like yeah, favorite. I think, I I think, think that's the one. See, I liked the toilet in the shot. Zach, you liked it without the toilet in there. Uh, I just like the shoes. I just like the shoe situation happening. Oh, yeah, it, that's it, nice. That was like yeah. probably the most difficult just because it's so, the dress was so big. and uh, I like it with the toilet in it as well, actually, looking at it. Because without it, you don't really get a sense of what's happening. Um, right. But I do like this one because you do you can tell that she's sitting. You see her legs up. You see her holding her shoe. You can tell that's, what's happening. That's the, yeah, that's the without, like, sitting oh, position. Look at this one coming up. Look <laughs> yeah. at this yeah, one. Yeah, this one's this uh, is like, yes. I've been waiting for days for this oh, moment. Man. This, I, this, this is, is like, I have got said. to go. Gotta man. go. I have got gotta to go. go. Right and that's the, he- that's, the te- that's the headline on this is when you got to go, man, you got to go. You got to just go. That's true. Please don't tag me in any of these. works for everything in life actually if you gotta go you gotta go and the next one is more of a close up same this is all the wedding series yeah. right yeah. so it's very cool oh and then yeah mm-hmm. you know yeah well and again that plays into okay so picture yourself in these different scenarios and that's what you're trying to do is evoke you know thought from people that are seeing this no just, matter oh there's a stool but what can I look at and right. what is it you know so provoking? no matter so no matter who you are no matter How where you go yeah. no matter you everybody uses the restroom right so mm. you can't talk Unless about you're it Cassidy Harper. you can't <laughs> sell this product by talking about it you can't you can't sell this product you can go to the website and you can say okay that's the reason that mm. I want to use th- I need to use it right. it's a visual so but you can't ev- right you can't evoke a, s- a sale unless you evoke the emotion and curiosity as to why am I seeing this toilet stool w- in, a, when, in a non-disgusting way right no so, it's so in a super fun creative s- way exactly mm-hmm. so uh, that's what I've learned over the course of the two years. You know, first you try to sell it where you have to. You're explaining away, elevating your feet and how it opens your colon, and how it's really good for you. <laughs> yeah, and that's and not ha- sexy to and talk and about and colons, and right. right? So Squatty Potty does the pooping <laughs> unicorn, rainbow unicorn. Who wants nope. to see a rainbow shit uni- shit ice cream? I mean, I'm sorry, it was funny, it was all of that, but in the end, when you watch it enough or whatever, it's like <laughs> really, yuck. It it's kind of gets disgusting. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of weird. <laughs> it's very weird, and it's a Mormon family for crying out loud. But if you start to want to capture and resonate with the relevancy of what is happening right, and this today, next photo I think shows that hugely too. Yeah, uh, yeah this is like uh, you're like getting because out of I'm it. not a spinner, right? So I don't know what spin shoes necessarily look like. I can tell that it's athletic, but you're a spinner, right? And that's a hu- people are religious about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they'll see that in a second. Yeah. And they'll and relate I have to it. The socks on from a pretty them. well-known place, so I'll tra- I can target Portland because Yaz is like in Portland, downtown LA, Venice, da, da, da. Mm-hmm. but um. And it's Easy Go Pro, and and now it's kind of all relates to sports, and so that's like a health, you know. So I'm thinking social media, right? This is social media and advertising, yes, Instagram. That's right, and it's mm-hmm. free media basically, as far as I'm concerned, as long exactly. as you have all the followers. Mm-hmm. So as long as you can be creative with your posts, you can do anything. And I then mean, you kind of like pepper it in with like other things that sort of like relate to the lifestyle that you're, yeah, the sure, that you're yeah. creating, yeah, to create and little mini stories each day or right, every or other you, day. you or you do you you also have to pepper in it with po- real posts that are like or and repost and t- yeah. retweets of other people that are informational. Sure. But it's a great opportunity, and I don't ever do it too much. And like once a day, uh, the other day I did, I, I did a series where it was the the t-shirt people, right? And I did this series where I put it into Twitter and it was on auto automatic, but it was like every uh-huh. three hours and there was like, each one was different, but kind of the same, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Of the jumping people. So it was really kind of fun. Oh, it was hashtag uh, Friday feeling, Friday feeling. 
Friday, Friday feeling. Feels. Friday, Friday feeling. feels. Friday feelings. Okay. Friday feelings. feelings. And it's a hashtag that everybody does on Fridays. Yeah. On like Twitter. A th- like a TBT right. What's your Friday feeling? Thursday or whatever. Right. Oh. Exactly. And then, then people post their feeling. Right. And so I did this series of the people jumping and they are freaking happy. And that's their, you know, they, they love to go. And that was their hashtag Friday feeling with the toilet stool, the person jumping. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And mm-hmm. that's fun to do. Right. You know, yeah. You know, it'd be a really funny one for like hashtag Monday vibes. What people do on, you know, it's like, oh, it's Monday, so I'm gonna put something, that, you know, kind of cheeky. Monday, Monday vibes, vibes uh, is the <laughs> Monday got the man in pajamas like. with the slippers. Just Monday vibes. Yeah. Don't want to get out of the slippers. Yeah, and the pajamas. definitely. Hashtag Monday, but you know all that. Definitely. Mm, or or stuff. or Cassidy's pink trunk one. <laughs> Yeah, hashtag Monday. <laughs> vibes. Hashtag Saturday. Vibes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sunday morning or Friday night or really late. Or 3 a.m. vibes. <laughs> 3 a.m. vibes. Hashtag long lines at venue. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it was there. I'd have my face on the floor. Do we have to go to another break? How about we call it face plant? Oh. <laughs> face, you face, face plant. plant. Face plant. Face plant. You um, when, you g- <laughs> when you got a plant one. <laughs> <laughs> so making reference so like I, I went through this list today because I think of those things so now that you know these photos it's like you can f- you can think of these taglines like, like mm. what about just the big old word dumpster oh <laughs> <laughs> What about Instead it? Instead of hipster, <laughs> it's dumpster. And, but like it's dumpster. Oh, I get it. Taking a oh, dump. I get it. I get it. It's dumb. Dumpster. <laughs> it's dumpster. dumpster. It's dumpster. Hashtag dumpster. It's so funny. It is. <laughs> and you can do different ones over the same image over and over again and just keep changing whatever. <laughs> Where's my Copies on I it. write them down all the Put time. Put it in your notes. It's like, but there's all these things. It's like, uh, here, hold on. Let me get my notes. <laughs> They're very yeah. funny. <laughs> Oh, really there she goes. Okay. She's gonna, she is going to put it in her She's notes. No, I, that's in my notes. Oh, okay. It's in my notes. So, oh. so uh, Zach, what are you up to and what are you working on while I find my notes? Uh, well, Absolutely. currently I'm working on uh, a little documentary series about Los Angeles artists. Oh, we were going to play something. We had, did, we, mm-hmm. did we download or upload his video? I sent oh. you the link. It was a little late, Zach. I forgot that's to ask fine. you. I, yeah, yeah, it's wait. Tuesday, Tuesday vibes. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I've been working on this uh, documentary series for the last year and a half. Um, so far, we have about six artists that are on the series. It's called Everything Loose, which is a um, quote that goes somewhat that says that everything, if you tip the world on its side, everything loose will end up in Los Angeles. And so that's what it's about. Mm-hmm. It's about people who are uh, in LA, uh, artists, creators. Ph- oh my God! Is this do you want? Is this what you want to do with Chance? Yeah, this is uh, like including, hi- you know, expanding that kind of yeah. idea of like artists. Yeah, Chance would be yeah. really cool for this, yeah. actually. It's a really interesting mixture of artists. Too, yeah, and it's not and just like not visual just, artists yeah. or painters. It's like people like who Like the chess do, boxer. There's a chess boxer who, and that's kind of uh, was initially a performance art piece. But, you know, it, you know, it all kind of derives from being creative or um, artistic or being just eccentric i guess yeah uh, that's well that's why I, I enjoy seeing those even multiple times just because it's something so different that you never see and this is one that i just uh kind of and so i had a, a show at a gallery um here in la not too long ago premiering the work and soon it'll be on a website everything it's not up yet but you know keep an eye do you out. have another we'll talk about that after we show this little well we only clip. have one minute so let's i want to can we watch this you uh, could probably a, watch a just a little bit then. it's about two minutes long so you can okay. check it out. All right, so we're going to watch so we're going to watch something so if you're listening oh well. <laughs> they can still hear it, right? Yeah, they'll be able to hear it. I don't have this unending desire to create art. What I do have is this desire to create the world around me. It's always been in my blood to create something if I could. That I've surrounded myself with things that I find beautiful and enriching. I want to create a world that inspires me, that recharges me, and that I find beauty in just by being involved in it. Because light is so intangible, you can really only describe light by the way it makes you feel. And I think that that's really a good basis for most of the pieces that I put out. It's, it's the way it makes you feel when you enter a room, the warmth, the, the glow. I love that light tends to add sort of this other dimension to a room that wasn't there before. I work a lot in trying to find the balance in a piece, uh, both visually 
and physically. How best something balances in space and how it works out to be the right proportions. I love to make things that either feel or look heavy float. Growing up in a small town on a farm, I was constantly aware of my surroundings and nature. But now that I live in a city, there's this sense of sometimes being trapped, sometimes not necessarily feeling completely connected. Uh, when you're surrounded by concrete and it, it's hard to connect. So getting out into nature is something that I need. And if I can bring that nature into my home with me, that, that's a way of recharging without actually getting out of my environment. And I try to bring that into other people's homes and spaces to show them how important nature is to the human condition. I mean, after seeing that, it just shows to me why you two worked so well together. I'm just sitting here. Because I love that piece. he's got such an eye, and you've yeah. got such an eye, and you're both so good at what you do. I love the way that, so you interviewed him, and then you used his interview in order to create the story, obviously. We right? actually, yeah, so we had been working on that. I, I, we would go on different uh, kind of, he likes, uh, so that's a, a piece on Jared Little John. He's a, um, he makes these art lamps. They're gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. They I really just, are. They're just gorgeous. I love the way you did that piece. And he go and he sometimes sources his materials from different places in LA, but also goes out into nature and, you know, yeah. sources them there as well. So we would go to the different places that he finds inspiration and we filmed in, you know, um, up past San Francisco. We filmed out in the desert. We filmed up in the mountain, the San Gabriel mountain mountains and um yeah we just you know i would i what i do is i film the artists in their environment and we and i talk to them and then i sit them down for a little interview and yeah. we just sort of um I, I i prepare as much as i possibly can but i really feel that the best responses are right coming from um being right. more improv uh right. oriented but at least you have the questions mm -hmm. that and then we sort of kind of and then yeah. i take what i i uh kind of accumu accumulated and i Structure that in a way that really tells their story. It's um, it's really yeah, I know. It's uh, so that's in 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 what I do for um, in infomercials and things like that, testimonials and telling that story right. and all my short forms. It's we always just go back to the interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we tell the story and then we create it. You know, yeah. People love to hear yeah, other people's it's stories. It's awesome. Well, thank you so for sharing that with us. It was, it thank was you great. for letting me watch. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, the there you go. So that was the one I put out on Twitter tonight. Was the cool the cool stool, and the cool stool based the the other one the first one Tony showed it said cool stool and I think it says no pun intended. <laughs> 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 what is the pun? Stool. Stool. Oh yeah, I was like cool. <laughs> no. Cool <laughs> it, for it, the it. ice. For the things called ice, and then stool for the poop. Double, stool. double pun. Thank pun you. It was a pun. super double pun. That creative I guess mind of yours, Wendy. I guess only people like me get it. But okay, so anyway, so that's another episode of C-Spot Talk Marketing Unfiltered with our guests, Cassidy, Harper, Zach, Bass, Thank and co-host John Hamilton. And Thanks for being here. And the f Me. Wendy Cooper. <laughs> Wait, Zach, where can, where can we... What? It's been oh, up. I, it's I, been I, up. I'm but gonna Zach. do my new tag, my new okay. exit tagline. Okay, go ahead. Zachbass.com is not a real website for me, so uh, you'll be able oh. to find things at vimeo.com backslash zachbass. That would actually work. Vimeo.com backslash zachbass. Everybody can find people. B a s s. Yeah. I mean, you can just Google, or you could just Google, Google him. him. Google him. He's the Google cute. Him. He's the good looking Zach Bass. Oh well, uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know who the other one is. John, what's <laughs> what's your out? See you next Tuesday, everybody. Oh, I like that. See you next Tuesday, everybody. Mm -hmm. Peace, <laughs> oh, love, sorry. happiness, Peace and, love. and wonderful and light. Tony Sweet, Tuesday. thank you for being here. Thanks, Tonesters. Yeah. Thanks, 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 Good night, everyone. Good night. C Spot Talk Marketing Unfiltered is made possible by our sponsors, Direct Avenue, the television media agency where you can expect more. Contact them at directavenue.com. Ending music is courtesy of Tom Orsi at Orsi Digital. You can download audio episodes of C-Spot Talk Marketing on iTunes, Spreaker, and Stitcher, or enjoy the full-length 
video uncut on YouTube. Just search for C-Spot Talk in your directory, and while you're there, make sure to subscribe. Special thanks to John Hamilton and Tony Sweet for making Tuesdays the best night of the week. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, just send me an email at wendy at cspotrun.com. Thanks for listening. See you next week.